Wizard 101's Die Shop is finally getting a rework. There's a recent in-game leak uh, by the devs, and we're gonna talk about it. And when I say uh, that it's getting a rework, I mean, yes, but doesn't mean anytime soon. The leak that we're about to look at is completely, it's in progress, okay? It's in progress, and I guarantee that it's not gonna come soon, but it's coming. So to see the new feature, if you wanna see it yourself, all you're gonna do is walk up to Darla Whisperwind in the Die Shop, hit play as pet, and then press X on your keyboard, and that opens up this menu. As you can tell, this is not the regular die shop. The regular die shop is this, okay? Where you can click on gear, and then some pieces you can choose the colors on them, like a very limited amount of colors. Um, it's pretty bad, right? It's, it's actually terrible. Um, this is very bare bones, and it sucks. And then there's some mounts that you can die. Um, there's like pets you can rename, pets you can die. There's a whole bunch of boring stuff that no one cares about. But the new feature, it's basically a color wheel. You can choose RGB values and customly cust get custom colors on your gear. Now, of course, when I said this is an in-game leak, it's currently only accessible through pet mode, so it's a glitch, and you can't really use it. You can open up the menu, but you can't click on any gear to choose. You can't do anything else past this this is all you can do so this is about everything that we know about this feature right now uh, it, it shows a lot that they're working more into the customization and this is a huge feature that everyone's been waiting for so it's cool to finally see some some movement on this feature and it, it, it's great it's perfect now seeing that this is getting worked on we might eventually see a name change or a or, or a gender change uh, a whole bunch of stuff like that is very very possible within Wiz. Seeing that this has gotten some attention now, there's currently no way to really use it. But seeing that you can like customize your own RGB values is really cool, and it's very glitchy, but it's still really really cool. And with that said, that, that that's kind of everything. Um, there's not much to talk about except that this is in game. If you want to try it yourself, I showed how to do it, and this is great. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. If you think this is raw or not, I don't really care. If you, you don't have to tell me anything, uh, but that's all I got, so later, yeah.